Guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another home gym video. In today's video, guys, very excited because we got the new bar in and let's go ahead and take a look. So I already recorded like an opening and stuff, but I think what I'm gonna do just for today is just kind of like an initial impressions uh, slash reaction. As you can see, I just finished working out with it. Uh, I did squats, I did deadlifts. I haven't benched with it yet. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, we can go over like how it's packaged, how it feels initially and kind of why I decided on this bar versus some others and why I switched off of the one I was previously using, the Rogue Ohio Power Bar, uh, black zinc, 45 pound, <clears throat> et cetera, et cetera. So here it is. And I don't know how well you can see this right here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring the camera around the other side. Bear with me. And I think that'll be better because you'll have less mirrors and get a better look at <coughs> better look at it. Ignore that voice crack. Um, okay. So yeah, first off, just initial impressions, unboxing, blah, blah, blah. Uh, very impressed, it was packaged up very securely. Um, I didn't have any issues. Um, just a little blemish there, there we go. Um, didn't have any issues with that, it was packed up super tight. It was actually pretty tough to open, um, as are most bars, but um, yeah. So I went with a, a stainless, it's a stainless steel. I believe it has uh, hard, comb, hard chrome sleeves. Um, and a stainless steel on the actual bar. So this is the best in terms of corrosion resistance. This is the best in terms of raw feel of the bar. There's no extra coatings added in. There's nothing like that. Uh, there's no preservatives or anything like that. Uh, there's no paint or colors obviously um, in the bar, which just means that the knurling is gonna be that much more fine and the bar is gonna be that much more um, grippy. So um, yeah, so obviously I, I got the one, this is the Elite um, American Barbell Elite Stainless Power Bar. Um, and this is the one with, I don't know if they have version, I, I, I think they have other bars that don't have center neural, but, um, I went with the one with center neural because this is going to primarily be a squat and bench press bar for me. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted one with center knurling. Um, I'm eventually going to get a deadlift bar that doesn't have this, but for now it's fine. Um, and yeah, so yeah, let's just talk about the knurling. So I went from the, uh, Ohio power bar, <clears throat> which, you know, if you look up, the the knurling what people say about it and it's true um it's a finer knurl than um i'm just going to keep referencing the ohio bar because that's the most common bar about that people have experience with and it's the one that i have sitting right here um so compared to that bar it is a finer knurl yes the ohio bar is um i'm going to bring this over here too actually <clears throat> now this this is a sharper knurl the ohio bar I don't know how I'm going to do this where you can see both of them, but, um, anyway, so this, this bar, the knurling, I don't know how well you can see it from back here, but, um, it's a sharper knurl, like I said, um, compared to the American bar, which is more passive. Now, passive, uh, aggressive knurling and passive knurling doesn't necessarily mean more control. So what I mean by that is I don't know exactly how to explain this or what the, uh, what the material is to get this effect, but this bar just like, it's sticky. Like it just sticks to you. I don't know how to else to explain it. Um, but when I'm deadlifting or when I'm lifting just in general, I actually feel a better grip on this part. Like if I was to, um, if, if you put a gun to my head and said, chicken, you gotta deadlift this amount without dropping the bar, I would actually choose this one over this one. Because I find, even though this one's sharper, and it'll cut up your hands a little bit more, uh, the control, the grip isn't as good. So I don't know why. Maybe it's just my preference that it's just, I don't know, my skin likes this better or something. But I actually like the knurling better on the American bar. <clears throat> so with that being said, I think that covers this part of the bar. Also, I believe it's, uh, no, it's the same thickness. I think they're 29 and a half millimeters or something like that, 28, 29, um, standard. So <clears throat> it's got the single uh, ring marks. These are the same location, I believe, as on the power bar. I think these are just spec to IPF or IWF or whatever, um, whoever it is that decides where these go. But I think they're a little bit thinner and I actually like that. Um, let me double check. Yeah, they're a, little, they're a touch thinner, which I actually like because it gives you a little bit more knurling. 
So when you're benching, it's less like on the slippery part, even though that's not really a big deal, but um, it just feels better. It just feels better. I don't know what else to say. So let's take a look at uh, the main reason I got this bar. <clears throat> and we can do a little test here for you guys. So the main reason that I got this was because, as we can see here on the Ohio bar, let's see, let's see how close we can get done. You see all those little ridges? These are called grooved sleeves. So you see it's right down. It's just how it's machined. It's a cheap way of machining um, from what I'm told. So you can hear that it actually grips you. Um, and I don't like that. I don't like the sound of it. And it also chews up the inside of my plates. I spent a lot of money on those plates. So I don't want to be, feel like I'm chipping the paint off them every single time I put them on a barbell. Um, now, if we look here, <clears throat> These are, these sleeves are friggin' beautiful. I mean, look at that. Like, look at the end cab. Like, it shines, it sparkles, it's amazing. It's obviously, you know, brand, brand new still too, but. Um, and then if you look at the, how the sleeve is uh, welded here, this is actually a TIG weld, uh, as opposed to, I don't know, how, I, I think the Rogue ones are all made in one piece. I believe these are separate pieces and then it's, it's uh, like precision welded to the bar. It doesn't make a difference, it's just a nice touch. Um, the spin on these is pretty good. Again, this is something that I don't care about, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways, so. It's got a pretty good, it's got a pretty good spin to it. Now, prepare to get the sad trombone sounds out, but uh, if we compare it to the Ohio bar, little stiffer. Obviously, it's a little dirtier. That's not totally fair. I'd say the spin is close to the same. The American bar is a better spin if, you know, you're into weightlifting or whatever that's beneficial for. Um, yeah, so other than that, uh, the, the spin is, you know, it's, it's a little bit better. It's just a better bearing. It's a better machining. Um, and it's just higher quality, you know, and it's also double the price. So, I mean, you expect things like that. So, I want to show you guys the noise test. Now, I already did the little, the little scratch test. Now there are grooves in this. It's not totally smooth, which I didn't know when I bought it. Um, it's hard to tell in the video. I'll try to get it to focus. Um, but there are micro grooves in the sleeve. You can hear that little zip sound. So it's hard to notice, but it's not like as, uh, as smooth as you would think. So let's try this out. I'll show you guys just a little sound test. versus Mr. Rogue, a uh, headphone warning, just in case you guys are wearing headphones with the sound all the way up. See how it just like, like you can feel it bumping around and you can actually see inside of the plate there, you can see that those little scuff marks, that's just from using it on the barbell. You know, that's just from general use. So I don't like the fact that every time I'm using these, yeah, you can actually see the paint stripped right off of them. How close can I get here? Uh, yeah, you can see right there, the paint stripped right off them. And I know it's not from the, uh, the storage pegs uh, because those are completely smooth. You know, we can look at those just so you guys believe me. But um, I know it's not these things. This is where I keep this plate because this is not rubbed off, you know? It's, so it's not coming from there, it's coming from the bar. And they're all like that, you know? You see? Can you see? Come on, chicken. Yeah, they're all like that. You can see the thin strip in the middle and that's all that's left. So that was the main reason. Might seem silly to a lot of people. Everyone's got their, you know, personal preferences. Like I always say, uh, when it comes to home gym equipment and stuff, the biggest thing is gonna be budget, personal preference. Uh, you know, everything else that comes down to that, uh, comes after that is, uh, you know, really up to you. But, uh, yeah, yeah. So I like it for squatting. It, it felt comfortable. One thing I did notice without those, uh, without the groove sleeves or, you know, just with a, a smoother, um, I, I shouldn't say this. I, sh I let me re rephrase that. Cause that was not right. Um, one thing I did notice that was without using collars on this, the, the, the plates slide a lot, but they also slid a lot on this thing. Everyone always said, whenever I complain about groove sleeves, they're like, oh yeah, it's there to keep the, the weights in place. If you're not using collars, this thing slides like a, 
this thing slides like crazy. I had, uh, you know, and I, I don't lift a lot of weight. Like I'm not, if you're lifting 800 pounds and the bar's bending, yeah, that's one thing. But I mean, if you've got 185 on it and you're squatting and the, the plates are like flying off, it's not worth it to have the super annoying sleeves that are gonna chew up your plates. I don't wanna sound like I'm complaining either. I'm, it, it's a nice bar. Like th at the end of the day, all of this is nice stuff. I'm being nitpicky for the sake of it because that's what I'm doing is I'm looking at two really nice things, right? So just to put that in perspective, but um, yeah, I mean, if, if, if this is an extra, as they claim it is, um, to have the groove sleeves, then I would at least want it to function properly, which it doesn't because the, bar, the, the plates slip off. Now, what they'll also say is that, oh no, it grips the collar better. If you have a decent collar, which is like $20, anyone that's going to spend money on a barbell is going to have decent collars or collars in general, it, it, they're gonna grip. They're gonna grip to anything. So that doesn't make any sense to me. The only argument I think that makes sense is if you're using kilo plates and if you're lifting a lot of weight, I think that's when it makes a difference. That's when you need that extra grip, that extra control from the uh, from the collar maybe, and uh, you, you want the plates not to move at all. Um, I think that maybe that makes sense, but that's not you know a, a large percentage of, of us home gym uh people we're not lifting 800 pounds i don't know what the cutoff is you know, let's say 700 for the sake of argument but that's my opinion that's what i think uh i love the bar it's beautiful um i still like this bar too uh it's not bad by any means but um this one's definitely a little bit nicer if you're looking to upgrade so guys as always thank you so much for watching that is going to wrap up the video today make sure to leave a like uh down below if you enjoy this type of content if you're new to the channel uh throw me a subscription and yeah that's it that's all i got We'll see you next time, guys. Chicken out. Back there.